first question was sent by email and that was Barry. He wrote, "How uh, I've had three hamstring strains. What should I do to prevent having another this season? To keep it really simple for you, Barry, hamstrings, we want to make sure that we're, we've got um, good length through our hamstrings. So doing some eccentric strength exercise, the research uh, is strong on that improving your fascicle length uh, and your deceleration ability. So making sure that you're really strong through your hamstrings, things like RDLs, single leg RDLs, remaining delves with a barbell, load that up and really focus on length. So stretching the hamstrings, uh, minimal bend through the knees. So you're loading up more the proximal hammy, which is the top part of the hammy towards your hips. And then we want to have some knee-based eccentric exercises in there as well. Keith's question is, my bench press won't go up in the last three months. What should I do? I want to hit a 1.5 times body weight bench press. Uh, Plateaus are completely normal, particularly the longer you train, the more you'll have plateaus. So sometimes you just need to stick at it and... um, and the you'll bounce out of it so just keep up the consistency that that pays dividends and then eventually you'll you'll break out of that plateau by just sticking to the program sometimes you do need to shake it up a little bit so maybe you've just been bench pressing for too long or you've been following the same five by five or same type of program for a long time and you're mentally just disengaged with it so we need to find ways to um, keep the training program fresh so maybe you need to do some band training um, some dumbbells, incline bench press, decline bench press, floor press. So just changing the stimulus from a mental point of view can be really, really effective to just um, improve your intent when you're in the gym so you're lifting with with max effort. From Jack Lawrence, what exercises can I do to become more explosive because that's an area of my game I'm trying to improve? Uh, plyometrics would be really, really good. So that's uh, jumping-based movements. They're really good for improving your explosiveness. Um, Olympic lifting, if you if you have a coach that can teach you, can be a great way to improve your explosiveness. So power clean or hang power clean, uh, even a, a power shrug can be a good way to move the bar. But for explosive training to improve your power, the research just we want to move at about one meters per second. So like recently we had Jacob Tober with his app Metric using your phone. You can track the velocity of the bar bell and how fast it's moving. And if it's moving slower than one meters per second, let's say you're moving at 0.6 meters per second, then we need to lighten the weight or you need to bring bigger intent, bigger intensity to move that bar faster. From Seb, I just got COVID and feel fine. Can I go running on treadmill? We're recommending our players um, following a similar protocol to like the concussion protocol, which we've put in place. And that is where they are resting um, to be able to allow their body to respond and fight the uh, illness so I wouldn't recommend pushing yourself too hard and running on a treadmill if you have COVID let your body uh, fight the illness uh, and get over the virus as soon as possible so then you can integrate back into your training whereas if you push yourself too hard that you're going to add another stress and that's going to potentially affect your ability to and your immune system to to fight COVID-19 so my recommendation said would be to keep your sessions and your intensity at a feel-good pace if you are symptom-free, like you mentioned, um, where you're not pushing yourself too hard so you can help your body um, recover. If you're a developing athlete and you want to be the best footballer you can be, we want to look at what you're doing in your current schedule and how can you get an edge on your opponents that you, and also on yourself that you can improve on that potentially you weren't doing in the past. So what are some areas you can improve on? And one that I see all the time is recovery only focusing on how you can f- have your muscles feel better or your energy, your body fatigue not being as low going into the next session. So things like going to the beach, pool, ice bath, these things. And all those these things are really important, like massage and your, fo- and your intent is in the right place and your attitude is great. And you're trying to improve your recovery to help your um, physical state going into the next session. What I want you to ha- start adding to that routine is about five to ten minutes of improving your mobility with your recovery session so that way you're actually improving your athleticism over time you're not just focusing on the now but you're actually putting some time and energy into your future self